Hello, everyone. It is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. I just wanted to do an update on NACA. Um, I won't be long today, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm starting to wear thin and get impatient. Some of the complaints with NACA were that they take too long or, you know, it's kind of drug out. And it is. I just want to hit the good points right away and then tell you about the um, steps I'm at. And that'll be that. I think the good points about NACA, although I agree, it takes a while. This is a good program if you have trouble budgeting, if you need time to save your money, um, because they say no money down, which it is no money down, down payments, but you must have earnest money. Again, I'm in Illinois, typically going to give a thousand dollars. I'm imagining some people do two thousand and definitely way more, but one thousand, two thousand dollars is need either or you need your PMI um, money. Ooh, I always forget prepaid mortgage insurance. You need money for an inspection. Um, you need money for an attorney. You got to have this money set to the side. I don't know what your amount is going to be, but I know it can be 4000 6000 I'm not going to say how much I had to have, um, not to put all my business out here. But if you want to start like now with the workshop, like sign up for October or September, if you can for September, that would be perfect because if you get an income tax refund, you can use that money for your um, money that you will need. So you're definitely going to need some money. So don't think no money down. I'm coming in there with zero in my checking account or dry checking account, dry savings account. You're going to give me a 200 to through $400,000 house. That's not how it goes. I just want to be a front in case you get misled. Um, it's also good if you don't do budgets. They have you do a budget. Um, if your credit was a little shaky, although NACA does not go by credit only. They go by income your rental um, payments and credit, but credit is not the only stickler. So if your credit is shaky, still do the workshop. Another good thing I like, if things are unstable for you or not where they need to be, six, five, six months, they give you a chance to get some things together. So you gotta be patient. I'm getting impatient because I didn't have bad credit. Um, but I did need a little more time to get together some more of my funds. So that's why it worked for me. But it's it's a good learning tool. Um, I definitely was getting anxious like like last week and this week. So uh, I'm glad to be able to be moving on. <laughs> so this is the last time I met with my mortgage counselor. It was very short. So see, that shows you all I'm in the right direction. Always oh, seems like my hair is sticking out on these videos. So um this time, we went over the last items I needed, which was my divorce papers. I had a really bad copy of my divorce papers. I got a divorce in 1999. I, some type of way, threw away those papers, moving uh, quite a few times. I threw them away by accident. They had I had to order a new copy from Chicago Circuit Court, clerk of the Circuit Court, and they gave me these horrible copies well, you, and I'm sorry if I'm stumbling. I'm tired. I've been working all day. Um, but they gave me a really bad copy that you couldn't even read anything that was on there. It was smudgy. So I had to order a whole new copy. So I'm glad I got that. Ordered the divorce papers because they want to make sure I don't own the old home that we had. We sold that home a couple of months after our divorce and divided the proceeds. I do not own another house but they wanted to make sure. So that was what I had to turn in. I had to turn in the letter saying why I was late on this credit card like three, four years ago. I had to, this student loan is oh, just driving me crazy. I'm on an income driven student loan too. And one, it keeps showing zero as my monthly payment. She, uh, my mortgage counselor said the underwriters are going to want to see an amount. My AES will not put an amount on my proof that I have a student loan. So I had to go to the student aid and do a simulation. I don't even know if that's right, but that was one of the things that's holding me up. Still, I'm still working on it. That's my last item. Uh, I'm trying to see what else. Whew. I don't even know what else I had. Right now, I'm just kind of 
tired. So, I'm, okay. Anyway, after that, this will tell you where I'm at right now. So I am 30 days away from being able to look at homes and put in offers. I have started as of today, driving around, looking at houses so I can get an idea of where I want to live. And even these houses sometimes sit on the market for 30 days or more. So maybe some of the ones I've saved, they may be there September 30th. Okay. First step, y'all, I know it's like a broken record. In case somebody's starting with this video, this will help them. Go on NACA's website right now, www.naka.com. Register and attend the regional workshop. Watch it. Stay on it until the end. At the end of the workshop, you get your web ID number. That number is going to be everything for you to get through the process from the top to the bottom. Don't try to just get on the web, the workshop and say, I'm going to jump off. And I, this was boring. You will not get your web ID and you have to start all the way over. And let's just say you were going to attend one for September. You jumped off, say, oh, forget it. You got to wait all the way to October or November. So whatever you do, stay on the workshop. But I'm not, I don't have money right now. Stay on the workshop because it may take three, four months to give you time to get your money together. Okay. That's step number one. Second step, work one-on-one -on -one with a counselor for as long as it takes the member to become ready for home ownership with an affordable mortgage payment. I got blessed. I ended up with a really good one from Illinois. I mean, it worked hard. A licensed mortgage counselor, she goes hard. And I'm very blessed to have her because I feel the mortgage counselor can make or break you 100% um, as long as it takes, which would mean, okay, I can tell you a couple of the errors I made with my checking account. I was letting the money dwindle down because I don't hold a lot of money in my account after I pay my bills. I have money in my savings. So she said Bank of America was going to want to see that I'm not taking my account all the way down, you know, to a hundred bucks left. She said, leave more money in there. So um, I really started the process February, end of February. So March and April, we, she decided not to use those bank statements because they were low. So by May, June, July, I'm starting to leave money sitting in my checking account. It looked better because they don't want you to think you pay your mortgage of $1,500 and then you have nothing left. So you want to show that you have ex excess money. Um, and you know when your statement closed. So like mine, usually like 19th of the month, keep your money in there till the 20th, 21st. And then you can kind of take it out, but let it look like each end of the month you have, you know, good thousand dollars sitting in there, 500, 2000, whatever you can keep in there, more than a hundred or two. Okay. Um, let me see what else. Do, do, do. If you want to do the shock payment, which let's say your mortgage, your rent right now, you pay 1200, but I want my house to be 1500. Every month you need to have $300 sitting in your savings. So they can see that this person is paying twelve hundred in rent, but they can go up to fifteen hundred in mortgage because they've been socking away the extra three hundred dollars. That's what the shock payment is. Get your check stubs ready. I just got a check stub today that has to go into my web file. Get all your bank statements ready every end of the month or whatever your bank cuts off. Upload that. Upload all of your credit cards every month. Upload, what else is every month? Student loan, which that's kind of not being paid right now, but still upload it. Anything they tell you on your um, steps, action plan, do it every time. Because if you don't, it's going to hold you up and it's going to delay, delay, delay. All righty. Um, third step, which is where I'm at. Not going to qualify. I'm basically there. So right now. September 22nd, we meet briefly. She's going to go over all my checking. I got checking accounts and my business account. I'm a therapist on the side. I have a full-time job and I have a part-time job. So I have my money separate, like the co-pays for my clients. So she's going to go through everything, make sure everything look good. So the purpose of your mortgage counselor for NACA is to have everything in order. They have a Relationship with Bank of America, that's who your loan is going to be for. Once you're a NACA mortgage counselor, 
gets all your information together, she hands it over to the underwriter. So this is after you found your home. So I'm at the third step, almost. So once she looks over my stuff uh, between the 23rd and the 28th or so, then so she tell me, I can go to the purchase workshop, which we're trying to do the one on the 29th, me. And then um, I'll get to meet real estate agents. I could pick which agent I want to go out with me to look at homes. I was asking my counselor, can I use my own real estate agent, Nun Naka? She said, I wouldn't recommend that. Re recommend that. She said, use one that is Naka knowledgeable. That way they know how to get through that red tape. Because if you get somebody that's stumbly and fumbling around, you could lose a nice house. If you get somebody that know how to maneuver through Naka, it's going to go smoother. So I appreciated her. Very useful advice. So again, this purchase workshop, you would get to meet the real estate agents and you could pick who you want to help you. She said, if one of them, you know, if they don't answer you back or they seem slow, she said, go to another one. Do not spend a lot of time because you want someone that's attentive that's going to go look at those houses. Now, let's be truthful. You already going to look at these houses online. You kind of know, like, I really like this house. Until you get there, you'll know for sure. Maybe you might see it online in two or three days. You go in person. You're ready to put an offer down. It doesn't take 70, 80 houses. Some people look at 50. Some people look at three to five, and they really find what they like. So, Get a real estate agent that's going to be there for you. The fourth step, what I'm just talking about, you go find that house. So like I told you, I'd already started driving around. And I think um, tomorrow and Saturday, I'm going to look at a couple of more. I have to visit a friend in the area that I may be buying a house in. So before I go see her, I might go pop around a couple of houses and see, you know, if they really look as good as they do online. I'm not going inside. I'm just checking out the neighborhoods and stuff. And I don't want to be far, far, far away. I'm already in the suburb of Chicago, but I don't want to be in the boonies. We get Sometimes we have rough winters and you're going to be stuck all the way out there. I don't like that. I like where I live at now. I wish I could buy a home in the suburb. I live close to Naperville. It's beautiful, but it's kind of out of my price point right now. Look, just right now, but I, I'm sure I'll be able to upgrade but um, yeah, okay, so doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm looking right now, I'm almost at that fourth step. So I'm driving around looking, and then once I find my home, once I get the green light from my counselor around the 29th, so she said the 30th, if I can go out and start putting in offers, and then that's where I'd be at number four. Members identify their desired property and are ready to apply for knock. Yep, knock a mortgage. That fifth step, application submitted to Bank of America. Member, that's me. Mortgage counselor, that's my lady. Mortgage specialist, the rehab specialist, mortgage processors, everybody, everybody's working together to address lender conditions to get the loan clear to close and close it. You get an inspection done. You see termites. It's for flood zone. Um, some plumbing is messed up, whatever. You already know what houses are on. That roof is messed up. Um, you know, it could be all kind of incidentals. This is where all of these people, we all going to work together to try to get the house to close. Always get an inspection. Always get an inspection. My beautiful friend said, get a house warranty, a home warranty. So these are things that are quite important. I already called my insurance. I have State Farm. He's already on standby. He knows the deal. <laughs> I have a um, I have an attorney, but I don't know if NACA wants you to use their people, but I have um, an extended relative that's a real estate attorney, so I may be using him if I can. But um, yeah, this is where I'm at. I'm getting excited, you all. I'm getting excited. So again, where I'm at in the, where I am in the NACA process, I'm at the third step. I'm going to be attending a workshop prayerfully on the 29th. Um, the workshop to meet the real estate agents. That's a short one. That's done every Thursday um, from 6 to 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, where I live, Chicago area. Um, then I will be looking at properties and placing an offer. Again, I'm driving around already, just checking out. I, I'm checking out like maybe seven or eight suburbs. I think that's a lot I'm saying. For sure. Let me see. Yeah. 
original. Well, for sure, six. Yeah, I'm going to go with eight. But a couple of them, they really don't have a lot. Um, they're more smaller suburbs, and they don't have a lot of showings. Not in my budget, <laughs> okay? So at the end, I just read all that. The members, the mortgage counselor, mortgage specialist, rehab specialist, mortgage processors, and vendors, we all going to be working together to give me a close. I repeat myself a lot, and it's intentional. It's a lot of information, you all. But I hope that this helps because honestly, when I first started looking at these videos, it was slightly overwhelming. And I was like, what's the steps? What's this? I'm a visual learner and I'm the type you got to say, step one, this is what's going to happen on, you know, September 20th. I need to see and visualize it and then I feel better. Otherwise, I kind of could get anxious and overwhelmed. I hope all of this makes sense. Please. Drop me comments. I do not mind. Anybody that's on my channel, they know. If they ask me a question, I answer it. Um, I'm learning as I go, and I'm glad to help people because I want people to know, hey, I could buy a house. I don't have to pay high rent. I could have a home for my children. If you work at home like me, I want an office. I want a little gym. I'm a singer, songwriter. I've been working on some music, even though it's other people's music, but I like to sing. And I want to feel comfortable in my space to, you know, do my exercises or sing, have my home office set up. I'm a therapist. I do um, therapy at, in the evening with my clients. And it's nice. I have a nice apartment. I'm not saying I live in squalor and all that, but I need more space because my work computer is in my bedroom now. But I have a monitor. I have a, they gave me a Chromebook, my other job. I have my personal laptop and it's getting like, cluttered with work stuff and i don't like that i think you should be able to separate home and work and we're in a new era now where a lot of people work at home so it'd be nice to have an office um, if i have people come over you know i probably end up hosting now um thanksgiving or christmas so that's gonna be cool but i want to have a second bathroom where my family they're not all on top of each other trying to um use the one washroom like i have now so i'm really excited um this is a beautiful time in my life and I want you all to have the same happiness like me let's see here goes some tips to help you with the NACA process be very patient and keep track of every document I have my little file uh, flash drive this has yeah, why you all can't say it I want to put up to the camera it has really really helped me I keep all my stuff here you're going to get a NACA email and you can email your documents to that. It automatically uploads into your file. So they have a pretty decent system going. So um, just pay attention and ask questions. And if you, okay, I'm going to number two, follow your mortgage counselor's lead. If you have a mortgage counselor that is not helpful, they keep canceling on you, they're not listening, like kind of bad, you will know. Maybe go to back to the main number, the 212 number, I believe, for NACA and request a new counselor. If you have a bad counselor, you're never going to finish this process. It's going to be, it's going to be grueling. But I'm, like I said, my counselor, I'm blessed. She was on the um, presentation for the main workshop. And I, how the heck I ended up with her? I don't know. But I said, once this is over, I want to do something nice for her. I want to give her a nice gift card or something because she has been going hard in the paint for me. And when somebody helped me, I, I, I'm very appreciative. I don't mind giving them, you know, a nice gift because that lady works hard and I know that it's her job, but that don't mean none do it. People, that's their job. Doesn't, doesn't mean they're going to do a good job. So again, you get a bad counselor or somebody that's newer or it's just not working out, please try to get another one so you can get through this process. Be more, be patient, have more patience because at the end, you kind of want to throw in a towel, but this patience, like say you have three months or four months, is save your money so you can have that PMI money, your earnest money, your inspection money, your taxes, save, save, save. You can get a gift from somebody, it's supposed to be a relative and um, you have a letter saying they gave you that money, no loans, gave, it's always gave you. No loans from a relative or friend, but they didn't say nothing about. I think it's supposed to be a relative, so your friend, cousin. Okay, y'all with me? Get ready to find your property. Woohoo! Okay, once you find that property, then you, um, with your knocker real estate person, 
they're going to get your applic now your contract going once that contract is you know going this is when your application will be submitted to bank of, submitted to bank of america you will eventually close i think the key is for bank of america to close in 28 days and get your keys to your new home. It should be a quick closing because your mortgage counselor is licensed and they did the back work, the background work. The underwriter is just basically going behind them, them and solidifying everything they did. So really the mortgage counselor is doing the work and then the underwriter come behind and finish it off. So I hope what I'm saying makes sense. I think it does. And by me going through the process, I'm able to explain it so good. Look, I'm proud of myself because I'm telling you at first, I was like, well, you say what? I bought a house before, but the NACA process is slower and different. So you need somebody to explain this. Ladies and gents, I hope the videos have been helpful. Drop me some comments or questions if I can help you along your NACA journey. And I want to say thank you for watching. Subscribe, subscribe. I'm on a quest to get to 500 so I can drop stuff in my community tab. I'm so grateful. My numbers are climbing and I am a happy girl. Tammy C. Walker, the C is for Sharice, the owner of Dreams Are, Re are a Reality. And yes, Dreams Are a Reality. You can have your house, you can have your income property, you can have your townhouse, your condo, your single family home, whatever you want. And I am signing out because I am tired. And have a good rest of your day. If I don't see you or talk to you all for a few days, happy Labor Day. Get some rest. Enjoy your family. And um, I'll be back, of course, always. Bye-bye. God bless you all.